Wins over Hythe Town, Maidstone United and Hendon have earned Woking this FA Cup tie against Swindon Town at the county ground. And for the first time in the competition, they will go in as the underdogs. Swindon sit eighth in League One, just two points from the playoff places. And manager Danny Wilson's not taking the cards lightly. He makes just two changes from the side that thrashed Tranmere Rovers 4-1 last weekend. Graham Baker also makes two changes, bringing in Tony Sinclair and Mitchell Bryant for Aswood Thomas and Jamie Hand. Ricky Annan and Delano Samuel make up a four-man midfield with Mark Ricketts and Harry Arter. Tony Sinclair slots in at right back with Mitchell Bryant partnering Giuseppe Sol up front. Over 750 Woking fans have made the trip and they are in good voice. And Swindon Town will get this FA Cup tie away. The long ball forward goes out for the throw. -in. Here's Mitchell Bryant into Ricky Annan playing on the right side. Takes on his man and will win a free kick. Curled in by Nicolau. Boardman looks at it at the back post but it's well taken by Phil Smith. Long ball forward and Hutchinson goes up and wins the header. Ricketts fights off his man in midfield and plays it out to Anan. Anan taking on his man. Doing well. Ricky Anan with a shot and that's just gone wide. Swindon head clear, Ricketts back in and well that looked like a foul on Sol but the referee's not having any of it. Here's Billy Painter with the shot but that's going to be comfortably taken by Ross Warner. A tame effort. Flipped on by Bryant. Sol now tussling with Gordon Greer and well did there was looked to be some kicking there and what's the referee going to make of this? Well, he's given a free kick to Swindon. McGovern out to this left-hand side with Anthony McNamee. He goes back to Callum Kennedy with the cross. And there goes Painter with the header. And it's just over Ross Warner's crossbar. Here's McNamee. And, well, that's a poor pass. And here's Mitchell Bryant. He flicks in Sol. Giuseppe Sol with the chance. Good block. And it will be a corner. Oh, no. A goal kick. Here's McGovern, long ball over the top looking for Painter, who could be in here. Billy Painter looking very dangerous early on, gets a shot away, but Ross Warner does well again to spool across his goal. And McCormack into Abadei, taking on Hutchinson and hitting a shot in. And that's a good save from Ross Warner. He's been kept busy early on. And now looked dangerous early on, exchange passes with Sol. Here's Ricky Annan, can he get a shot away here? Oh. Sinclair with the ball forward, looking for Bryant who takes it down well and goes around his man well. Can he get a cross in here? And he can and Sol's looking to get there but Scott Cuthbert puts that behind. Sol with the corner in but Phil Smith goes up well to claim that and now Swindon have a chance to break. Ball into Simon Ferry. What can he do here? Running at the defence and putting a lovely ball in here for Painter. Can Painter get a shot away here? It's a good opportunity and it's across the goal. And past Ross Warner's outstretched hand but also past the post. So chasing away. Giuseppe Sol with a chance. But that's comfortably into the arms of the keeper. And McQuart taking the ball inside and finding Ferry who goes past Mark Ricketts, chance to shoot here maybe, but no, he chooses to go to McNamee out wide, who tries a little curl up, but that's over Warner's crossbar. Nicola into Arter, into Sam York, who tries to find Arter again, and working have, have lost this now, and it's a chance for Obadei to run at the defence, and past Mark Ricketts, and Obadei could be in here, and that's a good save from Ross Warner. McGovern with the corner in, Painter with the header, oh and that's, that's cleared by one of his own players and then behind by Boardman. Free kick which McGovern stands over and curls at goal and that's not far away. McGovern with this corner, Painter with the header and Swindon lead. Good corner from McGovern and oh hang on, what's this? The linesman has his flag up. 
And the referee's coming over to talk to him. Maybe Swindon aren't in the lead here. The referee will talk to his linesman, who's obviously spotting infringement, but the referee's given a goal. And Swindon do lead. The corner came in from McGovern, Painter with the header, but on the day he was standing right next to Ross Warner and surely was offside. Was he interfering with play? The referee obviously doesn't think so. Arthur to take this kick just before the break. Hutchinson looking to get onto it, but Phil Smith does well to claim it. Ricky Annan running forward, looking dangerous again. Backing off him and he's played in Sol out wide. Sol comes inside, gets a shot away, but it's deflected out for a throw in. Here's Matt Namie. Out wide to Painter, who takes on Sam York and Nicolau gets past them both. Chance to set up over day and Borman does well to intercept and clear. Nicolau plays the ball down the line looking for Bryant, who still chasing it. And he's forced a back pass and Sam York closes down and he's still putting pressure on here, Woking. Nicky Nicolau with this corner in to the back post. And then up for it, but it's headed away. Arthur with the ball in. Hutchinson at the back post. And there's a crucial flick there to take it away from Hutchinson. Nicolau with another corner. And Hutchinson up with the header. And it falls in the area. Shouts for handball. But that was clearly a chest. Ferry out to Amakwar. And the ball into McNamee, who will get a shot away, but Ross Warner covers it well. Anquan again into substitute Hutchinson and back to Anquan. And can he find someone in the area here? And it's gone all the way across, and Sam York fires it clear. Bryant with the touch, but it could fall to Timlin. Michael Timlin with a shot. Good save from Ross Warner, and the flag's up now for the rebound. McGovern's corner comes in and Ross Warner doesn't claim it and the ball goes behind and Wilkins survive. Timlin with the ball in and Painter with the header and Hutchinson with the bicycle kick. Swindon coming forward yet again but as with Thomas blocks and suddenly Wilkins have a chance on the break. Here's Samuel who's running at the Swindon defence and he manages to cut inside and find Arta who miscontrols it a little but as well to keep the ball from Timlin and spreads the play out to Thomas on this left hand side ball in, Sol with the flick Bryant there, oh an excellent chance, unfortunately the flag was up anyway Jamie Hand with this free kick launches it long into the area, Hutchinson going up with the keeper and the ball falls but it's well cleared by Scott Cuthbert and the ball's now with Sam York on this left hand side he cuts inside again, but a good challenge, and the ball's back into the area now, but he's headed away. Woking putting the pressure on here. They've got Swindon camped in their own half. Sinclair with a long ball back in. Swindon head away again. Timlin with a missed time clearance, and it's cleared away, and Woking are really putting the pressure on here. Free kick which Swindon fire in and Ross Warner does well to clutch at that one and Warner will aim a long kick downfield and Bryant takes it down well and has a chance to get in a shot but that's comfortably wide Thomas with a chance to get this in late on ball in Hutchinson goes up it falls in the area and Arter goes after it and it's cleared by Tim Lynn, and that could be Woking's last chance. But they've certainly given Swindon a game here. Tim Lynn holds the ball up in the corner. Here's Arter. Gets it clear. And Imola controls it. Goes backwards. And the referee blows the final whistle. Billy Painter's 35th minute goal, enough for Swindon to win it, despite some controversy. But the Woking fans will be pleased with what they've seen here from their team. They battled hard and certainly did themselves proud.